What? This is my new buddy. You guys probably can't see him. You can just probably see the top of his ears. He's uh, he's my new rescue dog. Not quite two weeks. I had him. He's a German Shepherd. And uh, we are getting acquainted still. <laughs> so if you hear the pitter-patter of, uh, of not-so-little feet during the course of this video, that's Fritz. So welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a short one, I think, today. So I recently made an upgrade to the studio. It's one that you won't ordinarily see, and hopefully one that you'll never hear. But you will hear what it hears. For these studio shoots, I have a microphone just out of frame, right up here. And for a couple of years, I've been using the Audio-Technica at 405 3B. It's a very good quality mic, but I'm not sure that it's the best for my voice and my speaking style. I'm not a professional speaker, and I don't have great diction. I have trouble with S's and P's and pops, like many people do. My mouth can be noisy with lots of clicks and pops. And while I'm always working to improve that, I use a variety of top quality mics, but I want this one to be the best. That's why the upgrade. The new mic is the Sennheiser MKH416. If you know audio, then I probably don't need to tell you anymore. It's considered one of the best microphones in the industry for voiceover, television, and film dialogue. It's not cheap, it costs about $1,000, and it's not always in stock. And I'm sure it picked up the puppy dog feet. So it's replaced the AT4053B, which I will repurpose because it is also a fantastic mic. So for this little test, I have two mics side by side. <laughs> and a dog poking his nose around me. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? I have two mics side by side in the same position, and I'm recording them both. Good quality audio is actually more critical to a video than the picture quality is most of the time. Sure, a lot can be done in post, but just like photographs and the video itself, if you start with better quality, then you don't have to fix as much in post. And trust me, Having to edit a 10 minute audio clip for tiny noises to fix is very tedious work. So that's it. That's all this video is really about to talk about the change in this equipment in the studio and to do a short test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read several sentences that are suggested for microphone tests. And then I'm gonna normalize the audio for just the level but I will do no other editing or corrections of any kind in post. So I'd love to get your comments about what you hear when I play these back in this video from each mic. Can you hear any difference? Do you have a preference? I think I hear a richer tone from the Sennheiser, and I think it might be a little bit more forgiving of my speaking style, my speaking flaws. So... Without further ado, I'm going to read, I think, nine different sentences. The small pup, not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The colt reared and threw the tall rider. It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. The small pup not a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. 
The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The colt reared and threw the tall rider. It snowed, rained, and hailed the same morning. There you go. That's it. A quick test and demo of the Sennheiser MKH416 microphone. Let me know if microphone comparisons are of any interest to you, and I can do a few others. I have uh, several good quality microphones that I use for various purposes. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.